Typically, the last step for any project is to output the media. Start on the Edit Desk with your final timeline. You need to render the final clip and then save it to the library. Most media management tasks are done from the clip library. Before saving a final project, a good practice is to consolidate the clips. This limits the number of frames in the heads and tails. This way, you don't end up saving unnecessary media to your storage. This can be done on the timeline or inside the library. Click on the Timeline Selectors to select the entire layers. Choose Consolidate in the Editing menu. Enter a maximum number of frames to keep in the heads and tails, such as 48. Now you can process the timeline. Click on the Timeline Selector and select the top layer. Click Process to render the final timeline. Now let's save the final clip to the library. Choose Thumbnail in the Source Area Layout. Make sure that the Smoke Footage Library is selected in the Library box. Choose the Record folder that contains your timeline. Change the name of the folder if you want. Then, press Save Selected. Now let's export the clip. Click Open to access the library. Select the clip you want to output. In this case, select your final timeline. Select the I.O. tab. And click Export Image. You can select to export a file sequence or a movie. For example, select QuickTime. Set the export options and resize if needed. In the browser, navigate to the location where you want the final clip to be saved. Export the clip in the background by choosing Add to Queue and Execute under the Background Operations. Swipe left to view and manage the task list. Then click Export Image. This is a background process, so you can still work inside Smoke. You will find your clip in the chosen folder when the export process is completed. This was the last lesson of the Smoke Getting Started tutorials. To continue to learn more about the software, access the à la carte videos. They are available on the area and as well on our YouTube channel.